Guru Rinpoche and his eight manifestations. One Shekya Senj, Lion of the Shekya clan. He received the monastic ordination from Ananda. And he mastered the fundamental body of Buddhist teachings. Reflecting his perfection of monastic purity and discipline, Shekya Senj wears monastic robes. His right hand exhibits the earth-touching gesture, indicating victory over the forces of Mara. And his left hand supports a begging bowl. Two Pemak Yalbo, Lotus King. He appears in royal garb. And holds a double-sided hand drum, Damaru, in his upraised right hand and a mirror in his left. This emanation represents his role as the lotus-born youth. During whose rulership brought prosperity and well-being to the Uddiyana kingdom. Three Numa Ajar, rays of the sun. He appears as an ascetic or yogic adept, adorned with a skull crown and tiger skin lower garment. He is identifiable by his golden hue. Kat Vanga in his uplifted right hand, and the sun rays emanating from his left hand. He earned this name after teaching the Dakinus in the charnel ground of Radiant Beatitude in Kashmir for five years. He went Akanish to heaven and received teachings directly from the ADI Buddha Samantapadra. Four Dorhidrolo, Vajra Comforter of Beings. This section gives the Dorhidrolo meaning. He appears in the lower right corner. Red in color, he rides a fierce tigress, and brandishes a Vajra in his right hand and a ritual dagger, Hirba, in his left. Padme Samhava adapted this terrifying emanation when he taught the Dakinus in a charnel field in Khotan. He specialized in subduing demons and negative forces. And he is regarded as the precious Guru's manifestation of Vajrakula, the deity Hirpa. Five Senj Dridok, Roaring Lion. A name given to Padme Samhava when he won a debate at Bodh Gaya, converting many to Buddhism. He is dark blue in color, with a wrathful visage and upward streaming hair. He wears a skull crown and tiger skin loincloth. He also has a lion skin draped over his upper body. He holds a Vajra in his right hand and makes the threatening gesture, Tarjani Madra, with his left. This form taught and subjugated Dakinus in Nepal for five years. Six Ladon Chaks, Guru possessing wisdom slash highest aspirations. He is depicted in royal garb, exhibiting a Damaru in his right hand and a Kapala in his left. Seven Pema Jung. He is dressed as an Yingma monk, wearing the characteristic red hat and monastic robes. He holds a skull cup in his right hand and makes a teaching gesture with his left. This indicates his initiation into the Mahayana teachings as entered the Bodhisattva path. A Urchin Dorhi Chong, Vajra bearer from Urchin. This name was given when Guru received the Mahayoga teachings from the ADI Buddhas in Akanish to heaven. He is depicted here in union with his consort, Yashate Sajil. They assume the form of a Buddha couple. He is blue and holds a Vajra in his right hand and a bell in his left. Yashate Sajil is white and raises her skull hole with a joyous flourish. Padme Samhava takes on the aspect of Vajra Dhara, indicating his initiation into the doctrine of great perfection. The lower register of the painting centers upon a seated lama dressed in monastic robes. Eight manifestations exemplify Guru's ability to express his wisdom and compassion. Appearing in various places and bodily forms, he guides beings towards enlightenment. Reaching out to them in whatever world or state of mind they might exist in. Such is the aspiration of a great master, motivated for the liberation of all sentient beings. The different manifestations represent his own stages of progress and extensive dharma accomplishments.